In this video, we're going to show you how to convert a 1L sump alarm Wi-Fi unit from high-level function to low-level function. Uh, first, we're going to start off here by loosening the four plastic screws on the front of the enclosure with a powered screwdriver. You can also do this with a manual screwdriver. this cover loose sometimes you have to use a little force to get it open then inside the unit uh, right here on the left side of this black rectangle you can see there's a uh, there's like an l-shaped pin we're going to point it out here in just a second uh, we have to take this jumper uh, that's installed in your unit and put it over it's only on one pin right now we're going to put it over both pins to convert it to llv uh, and also while my assistant's doing this, you can notice that the uh, the inside of the unit, it is unplugged, does not have power to it. There's no lights on inside the unit. And you wanna do that uh, so that there's no risk of being electrocuted or shocked uh, when you're in here. So now we've put the jumper uh, over both pins on the uh, normally full uh, jumper pin position. And again, the power's still off. We're gonna go ahead and plug the unit in right now just to show that uh, what the inside of the unit looks like uh, once it gets converted. And you'll wanna hold the float switch up uh, when you do this because you're going to uh, essentially you've converted this so that the tank or the vessel that you're uh, wanting to being notified for alarms um, has high water level in it um, and get alerted when it's low uh, so those are our two beeps we're going to get a third or fourth beep here in just a second um, then can go ahead and drop the float switch you're going to see that orange light just went off uh, that confirms um, that uh, we're going to get a horn here in a second too for the alarm yeah you can go back right then. so yeah uh, that proves that the uh, unit's in low level mode and uh, we can go ahead and close up the front of the unit here now that we've done that we're going to unplug power so we don't get beef while we're doing this okay, we're going to put those four screws back in on this uh, this is a g5 unit uh, that we just showed we'll put those screws back in yeah, make sure you don't pinch any of the wires when you do it and you want to do this on a, you don't have to do this on a super high torque. We're only doing this on a, on a four or six level torque on this screwdriver. And you know you you know you're sealed up um, when the uh, gap around the edge of the enclosure is is sealed up, and you don't see any gap here. Uh, it's mating pretty well. And then on a G3 board, uh, process is similar. The pin is right there above the uh, the letter L there, the light. Uh, so Ben's going to even pull that jumper off the board there and put it over both of those uh, normally full pins just like that. Similar, and this is a G3 board like we said. And it, it's discernible by its uh, big blue chip that says Nano on it, uh, which is different than the G5 board we showed earlier. So that's the process to convert uh, high-level sump alarm Wi-Fi into a low-level sump alarm Wi-Fi.